Okay, this is the uh, first page of the practice test. Um, I've already filled the answers in, but I'll just talk you through how I work them all out. So first question, you're given a table of values, you're told the equation that was used to calculate the table of values, and you need to calculate the um, unknown ones. So for the first one, you know the value of y is 5, and you're trying to find the value of x. Now, all you need to do with these is to um, write down the equation, substitute in the known value, so 3x minus 5 equals 7, uh, and then solve to find out what x is. So um, 3x will equal 12, and x will equal 4. So your first value there is 4. Um, now this cuts out a couple of the answers, but then we need to figure out what the, the other unknown value is. So in the second instance, um, we are told that x is 6, and we've got to find y. So we put x into our equation, so 3 times 6 minus y equals 7, 18 minus y equals 7, minus y equals negative 11, the negative signs will cancel, and so y will equal 11. So our answers are um, 4 for x and 11 for y, so the only one that can be correct is A for the first question. For the second question, um, we're trying to find the equation of a line which passes through two points that are given to us. Now, the first thing that should be obvious to you is that one of these points is the y-intercept. Whenever you've got a coordinate where the x value is 0, that must be the y-intercept. So our y-intercept is 5, so our answers can only be A or B. Now we need to figure out whether we've got a gradient of plus 1 or minus 1. So to do that, there are two ways that are fine. Um, the first way is to use the equation for the gradient, so that's m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, uh, that is 5 minus 3 over 0 minus negative 2. This equals 2 over 2, or plus 1. So our answer can only be a. The other way of doing this is to um, just to sketch it. So if you carefully sketch some axes, you know where your y-intercept is at 5, Carefully draw where your other point would be, so when x is negative 2 and y is uh, plus 3. So clearly you're going uphill with a positive gradient from left to right. So that uh, again shows that it must be answer A. Question 3, calculating the gradient of a line given a, given a couple of points. Uh, two ways you can do it, and they're both fine. Um, just using the gradient equation again is perfectly good. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You just re need to remember what the coordinates are for each point. So you need to remember that the coordinate for this point is 0, 2. The coordinate for the other point is at 4, 0. Substitute those into your equation, so you get m equals 0 minus 2 over 4 minus 0. You get a gradient of negative 2 over 4, or minus 1 half, so our answer has to be c. Um, another way to think about this, which is perfectly good, um, is just to think about the idea of gradient equaling rise over run, because when something is drawn like this, you can often see easily what the rise and the run are. Um, in this case, when we're going from left to right, which is the direction you should always think in, our rise is clearly going down 2, or negative 2. We're going across 4, so our run is 4. So our rise over run is negative 2 over 4, or minus a half, the same answer. So our answer must be C for that one.